Hi folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. Um, so often people ask me to review movie fights and I'm perfectly happy to do that and I will continue doing them. I get so many requests to review The Princess Bride, um, for the famous duel where they, they reference the different um, fencing masters. Uh, I was going to say rapier fencing masters, but in actual fact they um, they cover side sword ones as well. They kind of go a bit earlier than rapier. They go, I think they mentioned Morozzo, um, and I I will review that at some point. Although I have to be completely honest, I know lots of people absolutely love that fight in the Princess Bride, um, but I, I'm not a huge fan of that film. Call me I don't know. Call me what you like, but. Uh, you know, there are some essentially kids' films, it is a kids' film. There are lots of kids' films, like Labyrinth and Legend and stuff, of that kind of era and genre, that I do like. But The Princess Bride has never really done anything for me. I find it really cheesy. But um, the fights in it are pure stage fencing, okay? And I'm kind of accidentally doing a bit of a review of, of that fight here. Um, but that's what I want to work around to, is saying that stage combat, stage choreography, is really far removed from actual sword fighting. And um, I'm working on various projects at the moment, um, one of which is with a TV company, but it's not choreography based. Um, and friends of mine have worked uh, recently with movies and TV series doing similar stuff. Um, and I have to say, one of the problems is that TV and film companies come sometimes to sword fighting experts, like me or anyone else, and they say, can you train our, uh, can you train our actors to make a cool fight? And I generally say, no, I, that's not really what I do. What, what I do is I train people to hit each other, and the problem is actors are specifically training not to hit each other. And... Um, Stage choreography is an art and a, and a skill in itself and it has its own laws and its own um, ways of achieving what will both be an entertaining fight, a safe fight, uh, is possible to be filmed uh, and that's very important because remember that most fights, if you just stand there with the camera, you can film them but that's not how fights in films or TV series work. You need to have usually two or three cameras, one of them's probably panning around or moving, and it's actually very complicated to choreograph a fight that will meet all of the criteria for a movie or a film fight, and I don't really have much experience of that. Where I do have experience, of course, is knowing what fights look like and what they should look like and the history behind them and the weapons and all that kind of stuff. So yes, that's where I sometimes get involved with these kind of productions, is advising as a consultant to say, well, if you change that a bit, if you change this a bit, if you, um, you know, the person with the spear really shouldn't be going in that close, or uh, that person with a dagger really wants to get in close as quickly as possible and not stand at sword distance, and thinking about it as a martial artist, and this is very often what historically, by historically I mean in the last 50 years, what stage choreographers have not been very good at. And um, a lot of my rants in um, uh, movie fight reviews or TV fight reviews that I do on my channel here um, are based on are where stage choreographers have overlooked fundamental laws of martial behaviour. The example I mentioned with the person with a knife against a person with a sword. If I have a knife and you have a sword, I'm going to be utterly, uh, well, if I can't run away and if I've got to fight you, I'm going to be utterly preoccupied with looking for that one opening, that split second where I can close distance to my dagger range, okay? I'm not going to play out here and try and duel you with a, with a, with a knife against your sword because I'm in a distance where you can hit me but I can't hit you, okay? So I want to change that to being a distance where I can hit you easily and you can't hit me so easily because I'm inside the range of your weapon, but I'm at the perfect range for my weapon. So these are the sort of things that, that we think about in, in HEMA and historical fencing. Uh, and in fact, any martial art should think about things like that, um, that stage choreographers don't. The final thing I will mention on this is that when you're watching movie fights, one of the most common problems or flaws, if you want to ruin it for yourself, and I have to say, when you start practicing martial arts, or particularly sword, swordsmanship, um, and when you see fights on screen, uh, for a long period of time it, it 
will probably ruin your enjoyment of some of these fights because you'll look at it and just go, ah, oh, that is bollocks. <laughs> um, but after you get over that period of, ah, oh, that's bollocks, eventually you come through the other side, you come out of the tunnel and you go, ah, oh, well, you know it's going to be bollocks, you just enjoy it for what it is. So, I mean, I can watch Game of Thrones or, um, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings or whatever, and I can just enjoy the show, okay? I'm not going to, it doesn't bother me that they're using the weapons wrong or there are basic things that they're doing stupid in the fight. Um, it bothers me a bit, but it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. Um, but one thing I will tell you to look for, but only look for it if you're prepared to have the fights ruined for you. And that is distance, okay? So if we use my fingers, my fingers are swords, and my hands are the people's bodies, okay? A lot of sword fights on screen do this, okay? So the swords are moving at the distance of the sword, but they're not moving close enough to hit the people's bodies. Watch those people on the screen, and it doesn't matter whether you're watching um, really good choreography, uh, like in, um, often in, things like Seven Samurai, even Kurosawa films uh, fall into this trap sometimes, um, but even if you're looking at uh, more kind of brutal graphic kind of violence like in Ironclad or Braveheart or things like this where they're more, a bit more bloody and they're trying to look more gritty or gladiator, most of the fights you'll see, the weapons, don't come within distance of the actors' bodies. Usually when they attack, if I give, whoa, I give a big, whoa, and you're focusing on the fact that this person's holding a sword, and look, they're being really physical and using lots of strength, and, oh, you're looking at their face and you're looking at their muscles, and they're, oh, they're doing this, but they're not close enough to hit anyone, okay? Um, and it is a really fundamentally basic problem with most stage choreography and most fighting on screen and you even see it with uh, you even see it when people are duking it out with uh, fists and stuff as well they're, they're going like this and there's like their fist is that far away from the person's head and you know people are dodging or blocking or whatever and they're blocking out here because the fist is nowhere near them uh, and it's exactly the same thing with swords and um, so look for that if you're prepared to have these fights ruined don't look for it if you don't want it um, look to see how rare, and it does happen sometimes, how rare it is that a blade actually, if the person didn't block, if they didn't parry, how it, would that blade hit the person? And especially when you see from side to side, good uh, cinematographers, good um, f cameramen will make sure that the fight is like this. You've got one person here and one person here, so you can't really tell the distance. But when the two people are side to side and fighting, you'll often see that their swords are like this. They're not like that at the range that it should be. This, funnily enough, leads to some problems in HEMA uh, because many people who start training HEMA, initially they have real problems getting close enough. They don't realise how close you have to be to wound someone with a sword. And obviously with a point slightly further away than the cut, but nevertheless, to hit someone with a sword, you need to be fairly close to them. And to hit someone with a knife, you need to be really close to them. Okay. So there we go guys, uh, stage choreography, a very different thing to real swordsmanship, um, and, but the people who do real swordsmanship can help the choreographers to make their fights look better, they can help the directors to make the, a more historical or more real looking fight, and if, you want, if you're willing to ruin some of your favourite fight scenes on film, Look for the distance thing I mentioned and see if their weapons are actually ever coming close enough to actually hit the other person. Cheers, folks! Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and feel free to follow us on Facebook.